Dear Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Holy Spirit, we thank you that in every situation, every dark moment, you are active and are working among us. Even when things seem at their bleakest, we trust in your sovereignty and strength. Lord God, you would work in the hearts of world leaders and diplomats and incline them toward peace. We pray for these who are making decisions that affect so many as they work through diplomacy and prepare for the possibility of a large scale war. We ask God that you would move their hearts to peace, that an alternative to war could be found and that you would be honored in need. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Uh, very pleasant good morning uh, to each and every one. And this morning, uh, we thank God for his grace and his mercies. And as we gather here on today, we give honor to God and we thank him because without him, we cannot do nothing. And also, I want to say a special thank you to our mayor, uh, Mr. Uh, Mayor Adams and his executive uh, staff here on, on today that give us the opportunity to stand here at City Hall on this morning just to put an appeal out and to urge and encourage our sisters and brothers as we can see our nation and our country is in a turmoil right now. We can see the spike of gun violence and violence and aid crime, we can see on our subways, riding on the street, and every lane and corner, shooting is on the rising. We can look back, even straight back to Ukraine. So many families today are running, have no place to live, have no place to get a shower, have no place to get something to eat. Those mothers, those young babies, those pregnant mothers. So we are putting an appeal on today as we stand and we prepare to go to Washington, D.C. on Saturday, May the 7th. So we are calling on New Yorkers. We are calling on America. We are calling on a nation today. Let us come together so we can have a global day of prayer for our nation. So today, we have some great leaders here. So many families are here who have been affected even through the fire in the Bronx. And um, our sister, um, to Sheila will be coming to speak to us and also, amen, uh, let us know, amen, how we are working together even to, to take some of these families, amen, so they can be healed. So it's going to be a day of healing on the ellipse of the White House in Washington, D.C. on Saturday, May the 7th. So come on over, amen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tusha Diaz. Uh, I'm the president of the Latino Muslims of New York. And now I'm one of the leaders for our gun violence um, here in uh, the city. We're going to stop uh, gun violence. But we're here today because everyone is hurting. We have the city that's hurting. We have the United States that's hurting. We have the world that's hurting right now. And what more better than we come together to go to Washington, D.C. in prayer, in prayer for those that are hurting, those that are uh, gun victim violence, families, uh, of the fire that are victims all these people we have to pray for and what better that we bring all of our elected officials our churches all kinds of religions together for one day that we could come together at the White House and pray for the world pray to end this violence this corruption you know that's going on to this day, these families after the fire have not received the assistance that they need. We have to advocate, we have to fight for them. Not only the families of the Bronx, families in Queens, the five boroughs, New York City, the United States, Ukraine. We have to come together. And that's why we're standing here in the rain today um, to support all the families. We want to end gun violence in the city and this has to be done by prayer. God bless you all and thank you for coming. Just want to give God thanks today for allowing us to be here. 
I'm going to say a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. We want to praise you and we want to say thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. For your grace and mercy has brought us through. And because of your grace and mercy, we are here today. Father, I pray that you touch everyone at this moment. We pray, O oh God, for even the President of the United States of America and their family. Lord, I pray that you will touch every uh, family at this moment. Pray that you will touch them and bless them. Remember the President, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you touch him right now, O oh God. I pray that you continue to give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I pray that you touch him, O oh God, and strengthen him, I pray, in the name of Jesus. And all those family, O oh God, that suffering, O oh God, even the family, O oh God, in Ukraine, O oh God, the children, O oh God, I pray that you will touch them. I pray that you will provide for them, O oh God, even the elderly, O oh God, and O oh God, the women and the men, O oh God, I pray that you touch them right now. Help, O oh God, your people, O oh God, Father Lord. Father Lord, as we continue, O oh God, to lift up your name, I pray that you will make a way for your children where there seems to be no way. O oh God, I pray that you open doors for them, Father. Father Lord, in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and heal their land. Lord, today we pray for our entire nation. We pray, O oh God, for healing, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that everyone will turn, O oh God, and come back to you, Lord God. I pray that you will touch the hearts of your people. O oh God, I pray that you touch them and deliver them right now. Father Lord, we leave the entire world into your hands. I pray that you will, O oh God, bring peace, O oh God, in the midst of the storm. Father Lord, for you, the Prince of all peace, and you, the Lord above all lords. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Bless, set free, and deliver today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everyone. Just like you know, my name is Walter, and uh, I am part of what is going on here today, that we're thanking God concerning the situation that we're lifting before God, especially on May the 7th, that we're going to the White House for prayers, and we pray for the president of this nation, and we're using the White House as a point of contact because we know from White House it will reach other nations of the earth. We pray for peace among the world leaders. We need peace. We need love. Let peace reign and let love reign. No more violence. We don't want war. Let them give us peace. We pray for the wisdom of God in the life of our president and all the elected officers that the peace of God will take over. And people of God will have peace all over the world. In this city, in this state, all the states of this nation, and all the nations of the earth, peace and love in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. God bless. All right, as we want to thank um, all the, the press, the media, the New, New York Times um, uh, for being here today. And, um, you know, we have uh, What's Up New York, and uh, we have Mr. Simon from the Lions Club International District in Queens, first vice president. We want to thank you. Um, I just want to uh, borrow a speech, amen, from Dr. Martin Luther King. And as immigrants, this is a crisis. And we as immigrants are responding to the crisis in America and across the nation. And this is what Dr. King said. We may have all come on different ships, but we, we are in the same boat right now. Amen. Amen. We come on different ships, but right now we are all in the same boat right now. Amen. So whatever, amen, the crisis that we are in, we are all in the same boat. We are feeling it from Bronx to Brooklyn to the Five Borough to uh, all the states of America, we are all in the same boat right now. We are all feeling the earth straight back to Ukraine. And when one is down, all of us is down. So we say peace and not war. Come on, we say peace, peace and not war. war. We said peace, peace and not war. war. We said peace, peace and, and not war. war. So today peace we want to thank everyone. 
and may God's blessing be upon us. And remember, it's Saturday, May the 7th. All road leads to Washington, D.C. and the ellipse of the White House as we pray for our nation. Tell your families, tell your friends, those that are facing trauma, whatever mental health issue, we're going to pray and believe God that America will heal again. And we are saying to America, don't lose hope in, in the midst of your storm. May God's blessings be upon you. Rainbow Car Service, 718-498-4444.